Oh oh. Should be better. Oh, geez. What's that? What a lock. Bray. 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 Flesh. Gold. Brown, brown, what's up everybody, those are Necrons, <laughs> freedom from the Balder Twitch play, <laughs> no problem, I want lore updates as you progress, no problem, I, I got you covered, easy dude. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm doing a short Warhammer stream today. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday, well, I tweeted today. Yesterday, I re-aggravated my concussion symptoms a bit like an idiot. But it only lasted, uh, honestly, like 24 hours. I'm already starting to feel better again. I didn't, like, get another concussion, by the way. That's not what I was saying. I literally just kind of aggravated my symptoms a bit, and now I'm starting to do better again. So... Somebody was like, did you go to the hospital? I'm like, no, you can't admit, people play football like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do this with every injury. It's always healing, and then I aggravate it somehow. It's just, it's the Krendor, uh, the Krendor classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're doing better. I'm doing, I'm doing better. Also, this guy was super glued. He broke yesterday. He's good now. Um... <laughs> Kitchen counter hits hard, dude. Uh, you play Tau? I don't play Tau, are you kidding me? This is Necrons. These are Necrons, not Tau. Alright. Gotta paint the bases of these flayed ones. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Uh, in fact, I got some paint on my wet palette that I think is still good. Oh. I'll add a little more. Knock that guy over. Whoop. Yeah, that should be good enough. Is my music good or is it too loud? I don't even know. Just got a layer one. Eh, it's a bit thin still, actually. It's a little thin. I'm gonna have to add more. Add a little more. Thanks. Hey, that should be good. Flanders with the 43 months. Thank you, Flanders. I'm gonna give you a, a couple snaps because I'm trying to not aggravate my concussion, my concussion, my concussion symptoms. I've already done it. Uh, I'm gonna return to clapping. I've already said once I'm above like 75%, I think I can resume clapping. Maybe I'll do snapping once I get, or once I get there. Maybe I'll do snapping at 75% and then clapping at 100. That might be the play. <laughs> that might be the play. All right. All right. Why is your tesseract glow looking so dark? Probably because it's not tesseract glow. <laughs> it's moot green. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. 
Paint that base. I still gotta dry brush the bases as well to make them pop a bit more. So right now they're uh they're all dull. Thank you, comrade, for stopping by. And the well wishes. Here. Get around here. Get some more. Let's knock this guy over. <laughs> Very good. I should probably like not have them all sitting right here, but what are you going to do? There we go. You're going to work on Flesh Eater Core. It's nice. Glue and Sand? Nah, this is uh, Morden Earth. I mean, these, I'm literally just doing the Morden Earth crackle stuff with the green, and that's it. Like, I don't care. I have too many armies. I can't spend that long on these things. <laughs> Maybe on, like, the big models I'll go crazy, but, like, I don't give a shit about Necron Warriors. <laughs> They're there to warrior. All right, those are good. Uh, all right, now... I'm gonna have to use my more nerf here for these uh for these guys. You considered airbrushing? For a little bit I did. And then I decided against it. Mainly because I just airbrushing always gives like this certain look to it that I don't really like. Like it can be useful for certain things, but and then it, on top of that, it's also uh it's also just like annoying and loud and just like you gotta ventilate there's just a bunch of shit and I'm like I'd rather just paint normally for, for me this is more of like a meditative thing uh... stripping this isn't a stripping stream what <laughs> What the shit? You've been watching too much stripping. Where'd my brush go? Uh, uh oh. Which one was I using? All right. Uh, not that one. Was it this one? Well, it is now. Oh wait, no, that's why. Cause I need the uh. Earth tool. It's got off work. But yeah, the Cities of Sigmar stuff looks pretty sick. Honestly, if I got it early and already built some of it, that would be pretty crazy. That would actually be insane. Right. And I don't even like humans. Hypothetically, of course. All right, let's start putting the earth down. And get in there. There's actually a, uh, it's actually a couple models that I really like from the Cities of Sigmar thing. And I'm, I'm not a human person again, right? But there's a couple. I'm like, those are pretty neat. I'll put some there for now, and then spread this out a bit. Uh, That's good. And we'll go this one. There 
Very nice. Some parts I want to make thin, because then it's not going to crack as much. And other parts, you want to thicken up so it does crack. I really like the uh, the new cavalry. It's the one unit I really like. Well, one of the new units I like. Because again, I don't play Stormcast. I don't play Cities of Sigmar. I don't play humans. I don't play a lot of that. I'm the I'm the guy playing lizards and rats and shit. But I like the cavalry because you can make them just look like knights. You know what I mean? So you can't really tell they're human. They could be anything under there. And uh. There's like a couple other things. So yeah, I might ally. I think if I do anything, I'll probably ally them into like some of my other armies. Like I could ally them into uh, Seraphon. Or I guess Sylvaneth. Just or Those are my two order armies I have. I have Deepkin too, but... Hope you get all soon. Thanks for chill stream. Fall asleep. Hey, no problem. Probably won't be a long stream because I'm kind of just doing stuff I was going to do off stream anyway. <laughs> but I figured it's like, you know, I don't have to look at a screen that often. I can kind of just check chat. And uh, it's not too intensive on my brain. I'm literally just throwing more than earth on these guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see our Bone Reapers are great. I love my OBR. I haven't played them in a while. I'm playing a game uh, tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. But I was going to play Skaven. <laughs> As one does. Hello, Tina. Do I feel better? Well, I was feeling better. Then I felt worse. Now I'm fe starting to feel better again. <laughs> Hence is my life. Pretty much what I did. If you saw my tweet that said I re-aggravated stuff. Hold on. Uh, thank you, Crispy Taco, for the 24 bits. Thank you, thank you. I was getting into the car. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, literally the other day I was feeling like 80% better, I want to say. Like, maybe even a little better than that. I was like 80 to 90%, but I was feeling pretty good, alright? So, I think I was starting to move a little faster, right? I'd be like, doo -doo. here, I'll demonstrate what happened. <laughs> Using, uh, this is the car. This is me, alright? So I was gonna get into the car. <laughs> And uh, I had food I picked up. So I was like, oh, I got my food. And I was about to get in the car. And then the car door was open. And I kind of lost my balance a little bit. Because it was like the, the asphalt was kind of this way. And I was like, ah. And I bumped my shoulder. I didn't even hit my head. I bumped my shoulder. And by bumping my shoulder, my head kind of went like. Rrr, rrr. Right? It wasn't even that bad. My head just kind of went. Uh, uh. And that. I, it might have just aggravated my neck and like a whole bunch of stuff, but after that, my symptoms like kind of flared up a bit and I was like, oh no. <laughs> this is it. A classic. A Crendor classic. I re-aggravated my, my injury by getting into my car with my food. So not only was the countertop the worst, now the, the car door <laughs> and the asphalt. I really do need one of those NFL bubble helmets. <laughs> uh, but I was like, okay, it's it's probably just like a small like re-aggravation. Obviously, I wasn't like 100% yet slowly healing, right? You know, as long as I'm getting better, that's the big thing. And I was getting better up until that moment. But I was like, you know what? It's probably like if you, you sprain your ankle or something and then you kind of tweak it, right? You know, you're getting better, and then you kind of like, oh, you roll a little bit. But then, like, the next day, it's like, it's, you know, it's healing a lot more than what it was, so it recovers faster. And, uh, that seems to be the case, because, like, I was, you know, even though I had my stuff today, I was, like, not too bad. I went walking. We still got breakfast. Uh, you know, I was able to, like, play Baldur's Gate 3 for, like, an hour, and I took a break. And, uh, now I'm actually feeling 
better than I did earlier today. So I'm, I think it is just a, it was just a minor inconvenience, you know, no big deal. No more, <laughs> I need my bubble helmet is really what it boils down to. Here we go. That's why, as soon as I tweeted that too, I'm like, oh God, someone's going to be like, Crendor, what are you doing? And somebody Thanks. was like, did you go to the hospital? I'm like, no. Uh, <laughs> like, people play sports with this. <laughs> people have what I have, and they go out and they play sports. Now, it's not good for them, and I'm not going out and playing sports. So, I mean, <laughs> you know. I mean, they're, they're really just going to scan you if they think your brain's bleeding. That's about it. Yo, Crender, you got me in a Warhammer. I haven't played it yet, but model making's been super fun. Hell yeah, dude. I always love getting people into this because I love this hobby. <laughs> Everything about it. I'm glad you did. Uh, Luzon, 72 months. Lost 10% on the concussion meter. Thank you very much. Have a snap. We're giving out snaps now until I can clap again. I'm sure the doctor would tell me I'm able to clap, but I'm not risking it, dude. I mean, I, I re-aggravated my symptoms getting into a car. Right? <laughs> We're not risking I'd probably hurt myself again clapping. Can't do it yet. Not until I'm 100. But snapping? That's not bad. Here we go. Long time Eldar player. Nice. I play Necron, Orc, Tyranid. <laughs> That's it. I can technically play Chaos Demons because I have all my Age of Sigmar Chaos Armies. I have Nurgle, Zinch, uh, Skaven, which isn't in 40k, and then... I feel like I have another one. Oh yeah, Beast of Chaos. They're also not in 40k. But I have Nurgle and Zinch. <laughs> so I mean, that's something. I technically have Chaos Knights as well. I haven't built. Back when the Chaos Knight box came out, they sent me it for free, and I just never built it, because I was like, I don't really care about 40k 9th edition. But now that I like 10th edition, and I can ally in Chaos Demons, I think I might actually build the Chaos Knights. Plus, I like Chaos Knights. I don't like normal Knights, but Chaos Knights. <laughs> Those are pretty sick. Let's see. So yeah, pretty much, if you're wondering what does one do with a concussion when they don't have the ability to look at screens for very long for two weeks, uh, they base their entire Necron army. <laughs> it's what they do. This isn't actually the entire army, but it's a lot of it. Yeah, jeez. So just, I pretty much gave everyone the, uh, the crackling green base. Some are, some are a little crazier than others, which I actually like, because, I mean, not all the ground is going to be crackling, right? So, I mean, if you look at these two warriors, one's just kind of, like, barely crackling, the other one's like, whoa! That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so I based 20 warriors. 10 warriors over here you can't see that have the long range guns. Uh, my reanimator. He's reanimating. My hex mark destroyer, which is a busted unit. My dragon. My warden. My overlord. Or wait, overlord warden. Uh, the crypto man. <laughs> uh, my Silent King thingies. Uh oh, the Silent King. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, my big gun guy. <laughs> uh,. Illuminor Zeris, the tip of his thing broke off and I didn't care enough to glue it back on, so I was like, whatever. 
And then, uh, one of the big ass things that I don't have the head attached because it's easier to transport that way. And then my flayed ones. And then these guys. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of breakable shit. How you get more cracks? You get more cracks by clumping it up. So the, the Morden Earth works. If you spread it really thin, you get no cracks. If you make globs of it, you get a lot of cracks. So it's all based on that. Uh, but yeah, my, uh, my 40k games have all went pretty well with Necrons. I, in fact, I don't... I think I've only lost once with Necrons, and it was in a 2v2. And it was mainly because they just didn't shoot me. They shot my ally. <laughs> I literally... I had a big block of Necrons. It's this literal block is what I had. And then I had them with this guy. So they had a five up ward. And then the destroyer was right next to him too. So if you shot at them, they pretty much constantly reanimate. They have a five up ward. And then the Hexmark Destroyer shoots back at you. So it was just like, nobody wanted to shoot it. <laughs> so it was fun. I just held the middle objective, but we lost the outer objectives. That was the problem. Necrons are really good. I really like Tyranids, but I play monster-heavy Tyranids, which I think is more fun. And I think it's actually better currently. I just have, like, all the big monsters. I don't have a lot of the little stuff. All the little stuff I have is from the Leviathan box. And then Orcs, I just play the Stompa and a bunch of Squig Riders. And then some other random shit. Kill Rig, some Beast Boys. I pretty much play Orcs when I just want to meme. <laughs> it's fun. Uh... <laughs> I love playing big dudes and demons player living the dream right now. Yeah, it seemed demons are cool because you could like deep strike everything as well. Uh, I was just saying concussion door days. I was getting, I was up to 80% and then I bumped my shoulder into the car door and it made my head kind of go back and forth. Not like hard, but like just enough to kind of bring back some symptoms. And I was just like, oh my God. And that was yesterday and today felt a little better and now it actually feels a little more better so I just essentially I kind of tweaked it set myself back I think a couple days but uh, um you know I'll be fine <laughs> it's not as bad as it was it's healing the main thing is it's healing so and I'm you know I'm I'm getting better every day not worrying <laughs> honestly the fact that I know it gets better and like heals and stuff is what makes me not worry as much and then stress makes it worse anyway so you don't want to do that so you can see this drawing now it's kind of cool hold on so then those will probably be the big clumps the, the wet areas still <sighs> yeah the old car blindsided me while I was bringing my food into the car <laughs> That was the worst. I didn't even hit my head and I re-aggravated it. Which, you know, I, I'm, I'm still healing, which I think is why it did that. I kind of just aggravated my brain from doing that. It's essentially like I just span around in circles or something and then was like, whoa. It's not what I did, but I feel like that's the equivalent. <laughs> um, I kind of want this guy to be a little brighter it's really dark maybe if I like dry brush him with something uh, maybe if I give him the old rune lord brass brush that'd be kind of good that might be neat uh, the base layer is all moot green. Moot green. And then some of it I mixed a little warpstone glow in. A lot of the darker ones have warpstone glow mixed in, but the brighter ones are just moot green. Whoop. 
All right. So now, let's go ahead. I'm gonna see if this works. This is an experiment. I'm gonna get my dry brush here. A turtle made it to the water. There it goes. <laughs> All right. Get the paint off. Jedi Pierce with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Jedi Pierce, very much for using your free Twitch Prime and helping fund my medical bills. <laughs> very much appreciated. And you're old to 20. Get a snap. Thank you, thank you. In fact, here we go. Oh, geez. I forgot this guy's push fit, so I have to, like... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, this looks kind of neat. It's pretty easy with Necrons, because it's like, they're just a bunch of metal. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see it that well. Once I keep going, you probably can. Okay. Just don't break anything. We'll be fine. Let's really want this to pop more. I don't even care if it's like going one way. I just want it all over. Get a little air. Some on the pipe. It's gonna go crazy. Uh, a little underneath. So it kind of blends. Not too much. It's already kind of not on the brush anymore anyway. Alright. Uh, yeah, actually, I like that. It's kind of hard to see, but like, especially with this lighting. It just adds like a nice little kind of a tint to it. Like a brassy tint. I like that. Cause I don't want them to be like too crazy, you know what I mean? Cool. It kind of just helps them pop a bit more because he was just really dark before. <sighs> Maybe... I might do that with the... Uh, I feel like there's someone else I had that too. I guess all my flayed ones, to be honest. Uh-oh. Hit the mic. Thanks, Thunkers. Catan shards. I only have the Catan Void Dragon. He's my only Catan. No shards. I'm gonna do a heavier dry brush for the flayed ones, I think. By the way, easily some of the worst models to build in Warhammer. <laughs> Without a doubt. Ooh. Just kind of getting it all over. Just don't want them to break either. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. There we go. See, now... 
It's got a bit more uh, like rusted look. I might even like take another. I might do this for all of them and then take another metallic color and do it over them. So they got like three metallic colors. I think that's kind of fun. So I don't know. It's kind of like people, you know, you have different skin colors, different tones. I think it's kind of cool when you do that for Necrons because some people just like everything looking exactly the same, but I don't really like that. Like in my Seraphon, I have like different colored skinks. I have different colored warriors, different color everything. Like, I don't know. I think it's cool like that. All right. Let's get all here. I don't even know if you can see this. There we go. Just kind of just be random with it. I gotta paint his little like cloth thing anyway. Forgot that's even there. Oh god, thought that broke it. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. -y. There we go. Just enough. Keep going. I guess I don't care if I get it on the cloth, so it's easily painted over anyway, so whatever. <laughs> I get it in there. There we go. Yeah, I think I've enjoyed Necrons the most, which is why I've been painting them the most. <laughs> I don't know, they're just fun to play, they're cool. They're actually the army that I think I like the most in 40k in general. I think they're just neat. Okay, oh god. <laughs> I can get some in there. Uh, it's good enough. <laughs> Need a little more. Alright. An entire race of skinny, old, easily breakable things, just like me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like them. And they keep coming back. <laughs> God, these guys keep breaking and getting destroyed. How are they not dead? <laughs> I don't understand. I can't believe it's been four years since I started Warhammer 2. I remember when I first started painting and I was like scared to paint. I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. And now I'm just like Bob Ross in it like, eh, this looks like it'll be good. Although it's a lot easier to do this and wing it after you've painted hundreds of models. <laughs> it helps a lot when you've had practice. Uh oh. And the final one. I like the bases. Hey, thanks. I watched a YouTube video on how to do it. <laughs> Crazy. Blade right. ones are actually really cool because they just start the game on an objective and then you're like, all right, they did what they had to do. <laughs> Anything else is a bonus. I haven't even shaded these in yet. I think because I don't know what shade I'll use. I could just null oil. I really like um 
I really like using... Where is it? Targor Raid Shade on Necrons. Because it's kind of like a... Well, it looks... It's like a brownish red. Is Agrax Earth Shade more of like a brown? This is more like a brownish red, which I think really suits them. Like, all my Necron Warriors are shaded with uh, Targor Raid Shade. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, do you ever play or just collect paint? Oh, I do I play. <laughs> I play a lot. I've got hundreds of games at this point. Easily. <laughs> I play, uh, I mainly play Age of Sigmar, but with 10th edition, I've played a lot more 40k. I've played like 10, uh, I think I've played like 8 or 9 10th edition games. Age of Sigmar, I have like <laughs> over a hundred, over a hundred games played, I would say. Uh, Necropolis with the 64 months, save the Nintendo 64 months. Have a snap. I'll clap more when my head's better. <laughs> uh, I think 10th edition is really good. It fixed all the problems I had with 40k. So I like it. The only issue is all the all the armies need, like, codexes and books now. <laughs> That's kind of the problem. Like, I think it's in a good spot, but, like, they definitely need more, like... They need more strategy. They don't need a lot more stratagems, but they need, like, um... Just... More, uh, what's it called? Army... Army... I can't think of the word. What's the, uh, what's the thing? that you get for like picking your army that you only get one of right now. Army, uh, detachments? Detachments, I think that's what it is. They need more detachments. So like right now, it's like if you're Necrons, you can take the detachment so that if a guy's leading your troop, they get plus one to hit. But that's the only one you can take, right? They need more of those so you can diversify a bit more. And then, I like that they simplified stratagems, so there's less of them. But currently, I think they have too few now. <laughs> like, I think they could do with like a couple more, I think. You know, probably depending on the detachment you choose. Maybe you keep some from the other detachments and then add a couple more based on that detachment, be kind of nice. I don't know. Uh. Let's see. Is this still in... Eh, it's still kind of wet. Should probably leave it. But overall, I love it. I think it's great. It feels like you spend more time playing the game and less time trying to figure out how to play the game. Uh, they definitely did over prune a lot of Psyker stuff. They definitely did. I think they need to... They need to fix that a bit. I think once the Tyranid Codex comes out, I think they're going to start doing a little more with Psyker stuff. We'll see. Uh... But I've been having a great time with it still. It's been fun. Actually, maybe... Hold on. If I just... Uh-oh. What if I start doing it for this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they plunge Skyrim into chaos. Yeah. All right, there we go. Just enough. that do anything? Oh yeah, he's got a little more depth to him. Neat. I'll have to do that for more of them. 
but I might I kind of want to I might try their uh, a different color for them I think I don't know we'll see in terms of like metallic colors to dry brush them with I don't know I might do like a light dry brush than something else I don't know uh whoa, whoa, whoa. actually you know what? I could always dry brush them something else anyway I'm just gonna do it In fact, I'm going to do a pretty heavy dry brush of it. I don't even know if you can see. There you go. Can I just pick out the spots I know need to be picked? Uh, there we go. That's pretty good. Cause now he's got like mainly just the the high bits are highlighted with the bronze. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do that. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Very good. I mean, the nice part about Kill Team and stuff is that it gives you options on how to play. Like, I prefer playing the big game because I prefer, like, big battles and a bunch of units and stuff. But that's also more expensive and more time invested and a lot to learn and you have to learn all the armies and stuff. So man, it's just a, it's just kind of preference. But it's nice that they give the option. I think that's the big thing. Like they have options on what you want to play and how you want to play. Like being able to play your own way and not just have one way to play the game. Like, oh, you don't have two hours to play a game? Sucks, dude. <laughs> right? Oh, you don't have the money to buy an entire 2,000 point army? Sucks, dude. <laughs> right? Just kind of how it used to be. So it's nice they do more of that. Even like, um, Warhammer Underworlds and stuff's a lot of fun. I'm excited for the Skaven Warband because I'm going to proxy all those units into my actual army. But, <laughs> it's actually a fun game to play as well. Oh yeah, I'm going heavy now with these uh these warrior guys. I forgot what death marks. I think they're death marks. Uh, he's coming the same kit as the uh, immortals. I'm actually building uh some lich guard right now because they're broken. <laughs> so I'm excited to play with those. Yeah, I like that. Paint the back of the gun. I didn't even do that. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Alright. Then this guy. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make all the raised things just pop out with brass. Instead of just being completely lead belchered. <laughs> yep, yep, yep.
Here we go. Mm. Pull on the shoulder pad. Mm. Pull on the foot. Uh oh. Cool. Just enough. Alright. I've done it. <laughs> I've painted more Necrons. <laughs> I've actually pretty much uh, like painted and based my entire list, which is pretty cool. So I believe my current list is 20 warrior, 10 warrior, reanimator, silent king, Zer, Illuminor Zerus, destroyer guy, death mark, flayed one, overlord, warden, hex mark, crypt tech guy, void dragon. Uh, maybe something else I'm forgetting, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's it. So yeah, cool. Um, all right, well, I'm probably gonna be done now because that's pretty much all I wanted to do. And I still gotta rest my head. So uh, thank you for watching me do that, that I was gonna do off stream anyway, but I decided to stream it. So hopefully you had fun watching the old Kren Warhammer. We're working on Boss Snickrod. Nice, hell yeah, dude. I have that model, he's cool. Um, if you like Warhammer, I have a Warhammer YouTube channel, exclamation point Warhammer in the chat. You can check it out. I got a bunch of me painting and talking over there and building and whatever. Uh, also, thanks to everybody who subscribed and resubscribed and dropped bits. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go take it easy, relax, keep healing, and hopefully be back to full strength soon. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow or the next well actually i have blood bowl tomorrow so i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> okay okay see you i gotta go turn this off i haven't fully left <laughs> Yeah.